Gourmet charcuterie. Everyday low prices. It's an Aldi thing. So good, so good. I swear to God, I can't win. I can't win. Ugh, whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed that advertisement. Alright. So, today we're playing some inscription, uh, Inscription. This is a video game where it's been out for a while now at this point. I just never, I never, I only played like two and a half, like two and a half hours of this game previously. And I thought I had played it on stream. I think I did for like one stream. And I guess it doesn't exist. Unless I spelled it incorrectly. Whatever. So, I guess it doesn't exist now. We're gonna play it and hope that I'm, if my save is still there, then fuck it. I'll just delete it or whatever. We can start from the beginning. Uh. So, yeah. Oh, <sighs> baby. Start this thing up real quick. Quick, quick. Start the game. Ooh. Sorry if I'm yawning a lot. I don't know what the hell happened. I must be tired. Oh god, come on. There I am. Here. Right. We're starting it. From the beginning. From the top. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Here we go. I don't want to block the uh, text. Whoa. Inscription. Hello? Um... Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. OK. 
Okay. An out of world death. Play the stoat. Two wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands on uns unopposed. Number on the bottom left is its attack power one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you, um, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. A coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat, uh, stoat's health is two less. If the creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Oh shit, so I can use the arrow keys or I can just use the scroll wheel. <laughs> it's actually a lot nicer to use the scroll wheel. I'm gonna draw a squirrel. How dull. Sacrifices must be made, my friend. <laughs> uh, hey, stop! Fear not, the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Well. I end my turn. Because you are learning, I will pass. That is nice of you. I will draw a squirrel. Three damage dealt, three, uh, three weights on the scale. You know, you can play more than one card. I play the squirrel card. And sacrifice two. To add the two wolves. I have nothing in my hand except my fist. Of justice. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Oh no, they won't because this ga this game. I'm so unlucky with this game. Let me recall your story. Oh yes, you were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you. Tentatively. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. You may only grace... Only one may grace your paltry deck. Cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Onward we go, my friend. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Let's go. Came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three as three is as much as you can carry i see we have a fight among us boulder you're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain you sacrificed me while i was sleeping i get it maybe you'll help me okay what do you need help with play along for now okay let me now see my moves ahead of t uh, time. Fledgling, behold the rule book. Fledgling, a card bearing this sigil will grow into a more powerful 
form after one turn on the board. Shit. Okay. River Snapper. Go ahead and place this here. These items may help too. Yes. Okay. I hear a phone. I did not mean to do that. Mind the ambitions. The ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. We can do another sacrifice, that's fine. The stoat does need. Here we go. How many lives do you need? Many lives. When a card bearing this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Okay. This is fine. We'll just, uh, no, this will be fine. Oh, shit, it became a wolf. The airborne bat flies over the creatures to attack directly. Ha, ah, my bat flew right over your river snapper. Motherfucker. Okay. I have another wolf. All right. Let's go ahead and place this down and do that real quick. Go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn, or the sparrow. The meek sparrow, an in inexpensive if feeble flying creature. We saw what the wolf cub could do. But I think the sparrow might be a better choice. You stumbled into a strange, some strange stone mist. You're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will uh, be lost forever. The cat does seem kind of obnoxious. Pick me. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stout. That's a good one. Now he cannot die. <laughs> now, I mean, well, he'll feel the pain, I think, but unless he gets actually killed by somebody, behold my totem, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. What does that mean? Airborne. I see. So his canine cards will now have the sigil. What it looks like. Okay. Not too good, my friend. Not too good. Let's go ahead and place a squirrel. Okay. And let's go ahead and make a sacrifice. For that. The sparrow will fly. Be free, my sparrow. Power of flight. Shit. Okay. Uh, 
Our point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. I have no choice. Mm. There's not much else I can do because this guy's gonna have to attack something beforehand. Fuck it. Damn. You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the, the barrel beside the door. Okay. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Yes, sir. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> that was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? That was difficult, my guy. An adder, a sparrow, and a skunk. The reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Here's this one power. That's not a bad one. Let's go ahead and do the skunk. There's a fire up ahead. Came across a small group of su survivors. Faces shr uh, shrunken from the starvation. They hurtled around a campfire. They looked upon the group of creatures and be beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. It will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors whipping, dr wiping drool from their mouth. Mm -hmm. Take my red snapper. Enhance its power. When the survivors reached towards it, another gnashed at their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the river s snapper away from the fire and left. It's time to fight. It's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me- watch me suffer. Only keeps you here to watch you suffer. What are you? Oh, so it'll block a creature from being able to be airborne. I see. Go ahead and do your worst. Back on the board. Do what you can. My guy. Got one so- oh shit, that's a bear. Okay. That was a bear. Um... Yeah. Your best buddy. Wolf. Fuck. Um. What do I do? Um. I made a mistake because I should have placed him here. I should have looked and seen that it was a grizzly bear. And if I put him here, then I could keep sacrificing him and then just get in an extra point. No, I'm an idiot. So I guess we lose. It's fucking dumbass.
God damn it. Dead yet, this isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? Together to amend that. I want this to be a perfect memento of you. From your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. To draw the cost from. They're both the same cost. Great, I'm smelly. Never did ask your name. Portrait. Are you ready? It better not dox me. Here we go again, another challenger. Stand bones. A resourceful possum costs two bones. Can gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Stout. Mid tin? I'm not mid. Shut up. I gained a bone. Not lose until it is spent. Okay. Can you say have a plus ultra day? No. Why not? No! You can't make me. I'm not gonna say that, Baka. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Fine. Inside the safe. Let's continue. The meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler. This is why you are minton. No. Nuh-uh. Shut up. A brittle creature once past its monstrous fangs. Cockroach. The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. You know, you're free to get up again. Keep your blood flowing. I'm no tired. You may sp stand whenever the map is open. It's me time to plan your next encounter, but you keep, keep your hands off my possessions.
Some bone tokens for a rainy night. A rock may get you a out of a hard place. Choose one. Uh, bones. Feeling overburdened enough with three items. Carry, carry, carry on. Okay. Both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. You sign where I will tear you to shreds. The bullfrog. Dalton, say... Have a plus ultra day if you're not a twink. Have a plus ultra day. Wait, hold on. So we have a coyote over here and we have, what are you? Sharp quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. So that thing's going to be annoying. This coyote is going to do two damage, so we need to get rid of them. How much health? Did they have one health. I have a plus ultra day. Ah. Uh, yeah. And. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and do this. This spot, are you sure? I, I, I don't know. Is it is it not good? Ow. Um the cockroach. The cockroach. El cockroache. Okay. Um. Uh, shit. Because this is gonna be that thing, and I need four for the cockroach. <clears throat> Submissive twink behavior? What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Why are you talking? I need to use this. Garacha. Were you as unfaltering as the cockroach? Yeah. I am. Do you not have any more cards? Mister? How brutal of you. You dealt more... Dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Let's see. We definitely want to go to the backpack person. The turkey vulture. The per pernicious vulture. A tyrant of the skies. Me. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. Getting another one. I guess I'll take me. Um. We do need more supplies. What is that thing, though? I've actually not seen that before. Um... The boulder could help... ...in situations. The extra squirrel. If you deem it necessary, you can cut up one of my cards with these. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. Oh.
All right, let's see what this is. Is this a boss fight? Oh. Tip, I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Two seven three. Got it. Two seven three for those. If I can live. Got it. Okay. All right. So we have a th a cub that's gonna be going down. We have a coyote that's going to go down. Okay. We definitely want to use that. And I think... We have a bullfrog. Okay. I'm going to fly over the competition here. So that's going to block that one. And I, you can just try to do your best. Okay? Just don't die. Easy. Just don't die. You're gonna fly over and... ...do damage to him... ...first. Okay. How many do we have right now? Uh, shit. Um... We definitely want... We want the card. No possum. Okay. Can't place that, but I can place this. I don't know if this will work, though. It does. Enough. Let me draw a card. That's me. You're not gonna do enough damage. I think it's probably best for me to sacrifice you for... ...this. I don't know how it did damage to me, but all right. And the wolf. Mm -hmm. There we go. Awesome. My apologies. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelt. There was something uncanny about the, his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Here to take a look at my at me pelts. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? You're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. I guess I'll take a golden pelt. Thanks for your business. The man assured of the value of, it, of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned the trader further down the path would reward you for them. The stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is... Is that stoat? Uh, the stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. We got something else. What is this, a key? Uh-oh.
Got stink. I forgot I had to put that there very well. To your deck. And I hear it by... Yeah. Okay, whatever. Um... So that's stuck where it is. I don't know what I did, but cool. Little creatures, those ants were, uh, very well. I'll add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Cool. Caged wolf curious. I'm just guessing. Uh, there's there's no logic to me about what I'm doing right now. No. 
Okay. Having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power. Okay. Nice. Well, I, I solved all the, the funny puzzles. Choice is yours. I want the sacrifice. Ant Queen. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. The cockroach. I'll go. Marvelous. What if I combined? Yeah, you go. Go ahead. Yeah, alright. Nice. If you die, you go right back to my hand. Alright. Let's see. You again. Indeed! Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a point? You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be- I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in a deep this time. Very well. You have this- these pelts here. We'll go ahead and keep a hold of those. Go ahead. What do we got? So we got uh, another por porcupine. We got a coyote. Okay. They need bones, and they need... You could kill this porcupine. They wouldn't be able to kill you, I don't think. Okay, I have an idea. Total misplay. I don't know what you would have done different. I'm just saying. Stop that. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this. Ant. Not yet. Just don't want to deal with that right now. So you can handle that, and you'll probably die here, but you'll get put back into my hand here. Okay, good. Alright. Should be... Okay, so let's draw a card. Definitely want to play that. I think we should play you here. Back in the game. Very good. And then either the... I think the stout would be a good idea to go ahead and sacrifice them. They're gonna fly over. That's fine. Hmm. The bullfrog. I think this should be f well they're not gonna do much damage if I if I do the bullfrog and sacrifice the stoat place them there then they have to attack the bullfrog and it's essentially that the worker ant I don't I won't do anything with the worker ant yet Okay, go ahead and take one of these. See the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish the match the slow way. Sure. Bro, I want to see. I want to see. You encountered a small outpost in the woods attended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her pre appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your, your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. 
You're in these. Take your time. Yeah, it's like, um, I want this guy. And the guy for, um, from Buckshot Roulette to, like, fight against each other. The cat. I want the cat. Is that a golden pelt? Magnificent. Strange larva. I think I want the strange larva. Most excellent, my thanks. And then we have to fight the boss, which I think we'll struggle with. withdrew all right the boss boss is really hard to fight boss battles are high stakes the smoke close around you as, as a chill mist descended in the distance you could hear the clinking of, of metal on the stone a hobbled figure stood in your path <laughs> Prospector. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Fuck. Sprinter, at the end of the uh, owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. So they will move to the right or something. What are you? Step one. I think that should go there. Squirrel. Let's go ahead and place you. Let's place them right here for now. But they do plan on going to the right from what it looks like. I think I can... Oh, I can sacrifice these two. Let's do this. Hi. I think we should do that. Good play. Okay. I hope you don't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Gold! I've struck gold! <laughs> He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The mule's the key. Okay. Get him! Alive. I'll do my best. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dag nab at my mule. Well, oh, I'm dead. So that's what it was supposed to do. Rip. I'm never beating this f fucking boss. We have a memento to create. Your death card. The power and health. Say cheese. I'm never finishing this fucking section. That man in his gold. What happened with you? No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you pr prefer. I don't know. A randomly chosen canine card. Did you wish for something else? No. Ancient woman emerged from the oak tree. Choose. Bear the satisfaction of the first totem was complete. Squirrel creature. Oh, I see. I wonder what it will turn into. Hold on. I'm kind of curious. Nothing. There's a third talking card around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan. To get things back to normal. Let's see. Well. There's nothing I can do now. Play. Uh, no. A caged wolf. He hid that for a reason. Card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. So we need to play it at some point. 
Shall we? Nice. I wonder if this thing, yep. Has extra teeth. Alright, let's go. Elk. First elk card. What are you? Give me that head. Nice. Um, hell. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, I guess we're going to go here. We got the squirrel. Wolf in a cage, but how to break it? We have to summon it. An elk. Oh, it can attack both different ones. What is your favorite act? I've never gone further than the first act, so I don't know. Stop that. So this thing will attack both sides. Let's see. Okay. No spoilers. What about boss? I've only seen the prospector so far. No spoilers. Can't play that card just yet. What do we have coming up here? Another elk thing. Okay. Go ahead and place that there. And then we'll go ahead and place you there. Cracking. Not that. Alright. Go ahead and place you. Nice. Uh, I can't really do much with this. I could add it, but I can't really do anything with it right now. Let's go here. I, mean, I want to go to the backpack. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. Hmm. I've never seen a three-tiered one. Regal Moose, the creature of the wild. Um, make way for it. Random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil's, uh, sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed the same direction. I see. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air only for a turn. Um, the black goat. Powerful item. This will skip my next turn. Okay, well, I guess I'll take that. Hmm. Just thinking about that wolf. Hmm, that, that dang wolf. I must play the squirrel. Sacrifice the squirrel. Masterful. 
Might of the moose cannot be halted. The fool. Alright, stout. Play your hand. Back on the board. The wolf. The wolf yearns. Never gonna get to play it though. Not yet, at least. Let's do. Canine? And Alpha. The v vin vener vin Venerable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creature that stand beside it. Um, having the extra squirrel is good. We're gonna need it for this boss fight, I think. So we need to kill it first things first. Or we need to hit it once and then try to not place much on the board if possible. Um... This one will have four bones, which should be enough for the alpha. I think. Uh... if it were freed. I don't know. this There's gold in them cards What was that? Gold, I've struck gold. Um, a wolf. Go ahead and place this. Nice. Oblige the pass. I guess I'll draw another one of these. Dead. I did it. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. I did it. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, I will grant you an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. I have no words for this freak of nature. The fuck is that? 
It says a long elk, but it just... What the hell is it? Okay. The stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. And the holy mantis god, a perfect incarnation of terror. Mole man would be good for defense. What does he have? The burrower? And... Mighty Leap. So he has both. Empty space would be struck. Hard bearing the sigil. So he's just a good good choice, I think. You did it. Sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ring in your ears. You carried onwards. Hmm. Welcome. The rank smell of rotten mold permitted the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby some nearby slip or slither. You tread carefully, uh, cautiously into the wetlands. Before we do that, let's go say hi to our friend here. Finally, pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Oh, you wish that you w wouldn't. Uh oh. Sorry, I just. I saw it. And take its teeth. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but we'll figure it out. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. A trial of, of kin. Two of three drawn cards must be kin to pass. Trial of Bones. The drawn, uh, three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of Bones begins. Failure. Damn. I have two things here that I still need to use, so I'd only get one. Let's go here. Go ahead and... Hello. Why do you look like that? Um... This one's pretty cool. This one, I think the Elk Fawn. Go ahead, buddy. Now you got two, buddy. Alright. The squirrel. Greetings. Go ahead and use that real quick. We can go ahead and... What do we have here? A snake. Loose tail. Okay. Got it. So, we have Mole Man. You know, stink bug. Let's go ahead and place that them down. Place this down. And then we have Mole Man, which will be our, our grand defense. Nothing else. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want to go ahead and do this. Special dagger to the user. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. I wonder what it is. We have snakes here that will deal damage from what it looks like. Um, Methinks I need to... If I sacrifice one of those, my wolf is going to get attacked anyways. Take damage. If I do the mole man, only one of them will get attacked. Let's just see what happens here, okay? Right. Now it's time.
A wolf. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Better? Regardless, the choice is final. You could try the trial again. Let's do the pelts. What do we have here? First one's free. Oh, I should have fucked. I wasn't supposed to click on it. Whatever, man. Fuck it. I don't know, man. Um. Yes, this one can be put onto a wolf. So now it protects both. I'm so mad. What do we have? So we have a flying and waterborne during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. That's annoying. Hmm. Fuck. Um, you have two of those too. Uh, okay. I don't know what else to do. I don't have a lot of options here. I At least I can get rid of one of them, but then there's three that's attacking. I'm dead. I lost. That's some bullshit. Bone... Garacha. I actually have not seen this thing yet, so I want to see what this is. A mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through the thick spores. Are you the mycologist? Yes. Yes. We're performing experiments from from Welcome Elsewhere. Experiment on your flock. Yes. I mean, two of the same creatures. Flock of each. I think this could get messy. Look away. The 
Wolf is now one. Okay. Uh oh. Stinky. I'm I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be able to win against this. That's gonna protect me for like one round. Damn it. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. If I place this card, it's going to block some of the attacks, but these guys are going to attack. No matter what I do, I, I lose. Well, okay, wait, hold on. I have an idea. I have to. I don't think, I don't know if this will work or not. Okay. Currently they their thing gets lowered. <laughs> um, do I want mushrooms? I want to go to this thing, this trial, and see if I can do the trial here. the trial. Mm. A sparrow. Mushroom. I don't have anything. Oh. That's nice of them. Um... Sparrow. And a new boss fight. I don't think I've ever seen this boss fight. I'm scared. Pulled the hook from the... The angler. Fish, it's hard to know. Wait, what is he doing? He's gonna hook them. 
Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Ha. Go fish. Um. God damn it. Oh. Go fish. is bad. Fuck. I don't have enough. I lose. I lose. I don't have enough. I lose. That fucking sucks. <sighs> Great, now make a card, but jingling it in the game is something. This is my... This is so fucking stupid. Okay. I'll start from the beginning. He's dying. Yay. I love starting from the beginning. Order. When the card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any cards to take into your hand. the uh the game doing this to me in the first round
Keep me alive. Good luck. Can't wait to fight the prospector again. Stop it. But you're getting stronger, Stoat. Total misplay. Nice. Uh. Nice. Okay. I guess we'll take that. Next. Too bad, buddy. Congrats. You are now 3-3 three, three for this game. You draw. Guess so. River Otter. Okay. <laughs> Do what you must. Um... Should have more health. Okay. 
now on to the prospector fight. Fun. I hate this. I was more prepared during the one fight. Now I'm not prepared for this fight. game. I don't really enjoy having to make, like, a card every single time I fucking die. This is so fucking stupid. I remembered why I don't play this game. Every single time you die in this piece of shit game, you have to fucking make a card every single time. And it's annoying. I don't want to have to sit here fucking dying over and over again. don't care. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't care. Wow. I do relish suffering or snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you'll now enjoy it as much as I do. I, I don't. 
here. I guess the this thing, the stinker. Said perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Pack rat. Okay, thanks. I guess. Trinket bearer. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Carries to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Luckily, lucky for you or something. Great. Um. Bum, bum. Um, this coyote. Okay. We'll go to the trapper. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Guess it doesn't matter. These are pretty much bad options, but fuck it. <laughs> so far, so uh, not so good. Um. A, sur a surrender okay sounds good I guess uh, womp womp I can't afford anything else I can afford this that's it
Yeah. Congrats, Stout. Oh boy. Okay, start. And then get ourselves a squirrel. Could probably do this. for the cards. There's gold in them cards. I've struck gold. There we go. Things worked out in my favor for once. Sure, I'll take them. Sure. The angler, which I've yet to beat. I've actually never beaten the angler. Red snapper. Reginald. I didn't name a cart named Reginald. So I don't know what that's doing there for. I guess I'll use the red snapper. I haven't seen that card in a while. Um. We need things. Squirrel. This bottle of goo has no use. No, it does to me. I'll place it on the shelf over there for now. My advice, avoid it. Okay. We have a ringworm. It doesn't do anything. And a worker ant, I'm concerned. Uh. 
because it doesn't attack. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to... place this here. And just assume... Okay. Keep me alive. Hmm. Let's see. Um. Oh, so this one can be sacrificed multiple times. You see. This guy needs to die, but so does this guy. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Okay. Oh shit. There we go. Good deal, I think. Grizzly bear. Underappreciated ringworm. Its value is not readily apparent. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to... Oh, you know what? We gotta give it the, um, the one sigil. For it to be really good. I see, so it's like a, it's like a magic carp thing. I want the magic carp ringworm. Let's see. Amoeba. Give it to the ringworm. <laughs> No, um, we gotta let the ringworm evolve properly, I think. Now let's just, let's just give it to the ringworm, fuck it. Congrats, ringworm. You've been evolved. <laughs> Might lose. Um.
That was getting, that was dicey. Corpse maggot. Yeah, we want the corpse maggot. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Um, you must make a sacrifice. Red Snapper. Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord will start each match with one extra bone. Damn. Flight? Oh no. An extra bone. This actually is okay. These guys, I'm gonna have to wait to attack them though. This will actually, okay, that's a good idea. Because it won't be able to attack when it's uh, over me. Let's see? It's not going to be able to attack. Okay. If I do the tail, then I could do this. This one can't attack while it's in front of him. The <laughs> flight? Okay. are in no sh short supply. This thing... No, okay, so this thing doesn't attack it. That is strange. Okay. fuck is happening? Okay. Yep. You haven't done anything for me, so... There. Jesus. I can talk to the weird green thing. Arg. Pain is unbearable. Even after all these years, what do you want? I have very little to, little to live for these days. Alright, I watched that dagger do its work. The moment I felt that my misery had company. Oh, but it had its own noble purpose. Surely a step f uh, toward freeing the master. Okay, see what this is. Show me his exquisite pelts. I will take Rat King.
Nice. Go fish. Ah, shit. Um, well, rip. That's fucked. Come on. Oh, I love. I love RNG, dude. I love RNG. 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 Okay. Thanks, game. Good game design, guys. I see why I only played this for two hours. Thanks. A raven, I guess.
a, 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 a. All right. Cool. So I can afford. Thanks. Uh. I concede. Okay. I need more cards anyways. Black goat card. Sure, why not? I'm not pushing it. Nice. I wanted the extra money. I didn't realize he was gonna let me concede, but whatever. I want that card. I want the glitch one. Does it mean that I get to move on? 
Or you know. The trapper? Oh, the woodcarver. <laughs> Squirrels have flight. Um. I guess I'll just get the head. I don't think I want the scrolls to have flight. I hate that they they do the the fucking the intro to the care the boss like a billion times. Like, oh great, you know, I haven't already seen the boss before. Thanks for telling me about him. Thanks. That's so cool. God damn it! Fuck off, game. I fucking hate you. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Bro. I am never, ever going to fucking... Can, can you just, like, pick for me? I don't want to do this shit. I don't care. skip that cutscene I've already seen. Thanks for showing me the fucking cutscene again. That was a dumb play.
I'm just trying to speed run it at this point. fuck is that? Okay. Cool. Get out of here. Cockroach? Do I want cock? Guess I'll take cock. not playing you yet. Draw this and we 
want to use this card here. Go. Get him. seem for it. There we go. Uh me light. <laughs> I get it. It's funny. This thing. Guess we'll take this thing. Uh, let's move on. And then die at the angler again because I just can't win against him for some reason. Six bones. Looks like cock has gotten stronger. Looks like cock gets to go on the field. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm like overstuffed. Let me see. Is there anywhere I can spend this crap? No. Looks like there's there's none right now. So if I get more ants, then it becomes stronger. Got it. Blood down. Here we'll just do this. Go to this thing. Um. What if we took the the rat king? Here, let's take the pack rat and put it with the rat king. See? Got the rat. I don't know why I put him there. so over for cock. What happens when you meet an immovable boulder? Casey. Guess I'll take Casey. I win. I win. The gek. The gek. The gecko.
You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deters you. Dinner would have to wait. Mm. Oh yes, I know. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling sh snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. It's the first time I've ever seen this. Arg. Watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. I do need the, to get a drink. Yeah, I do need to get a drink, so... Um, I'll... Uh... I will... We'll be right back. I'm gonna get a water. Uh, enjoy him looking at you... Intensely. Oh, I'm back. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's get back to it. If I die, then I die, you know. Two of the three. Drawn cards must be of kin to pass. Crowd power. Three drawn cards must have at least a, t a four attack power combined to pass. <laughs> I've passed. What do I want? I want this thing. Whatever this is. It looks- it doesn't have a name, it's just tentacles, so... At full, but... Pack rat. Oh, finally a trapper. Oh. So I can get some equi exquisite pelts. Hold on, let's see. How am I full? I don't know how I'm full, but okay. There you go. Enjoy. Oh shit, okay, well. Uh, 
Um. No, we don't need that again. Um. Let's go ahead and draw here. What are you? Yeah, I don't know what you do. But I should use this. To at least somewhat try to even it out. Um... I don't know what you- what you'll do, but we'll see. I'm curious. Same thing happened here. Um, hmm. No. Fuck. Um, this is bad. Uh, because we gotta kill this guy. And this thing is in the way. This snowy fur. Place my eyeball. All right, here we go. Finest pelts for sale. There we go. Thanks for your patronage. No problem, buddy. Uh, we have a lot of these duplicate ones. I don't know what would happen if I combine these. and do what you need to do real quick. Okay. Four attack power combined, six health combined. This one. with flight protection coyote that gives poor bones after you place poor bones I guess the mole I still don't exactly know what you do, but that's fine. 
um, Mole Man that's protection, and then we have a Moose that will do three damage per hit. Did it? Oh, because it attacked. Okay. Shit. Um. shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. This is it. I'm surprised that he hasn't conceded yet. That's that's the strange part, is how he hasn't even bothered conceding. He's just like, yep, go ahead. Nice. There. That was something else. Um...
turkey vulture, bullfrog. I guess turkey vulture. Ow. Wolves. A man stood before you. A man recognized immediately. He was the trapper. He reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Strange frogs. Skip your turn for this round. If you don't mind. I think you should do. You're only gonna do two damage, but that's fine. We'll see what happens. They're not gonna get to move just yet. Nice. are gonna fly so there's no point in placing that just yet. Hmm. Okay. Let's wait to play that. Go ahead and cut this card out. Do this. Alright, let's see what happens. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Okay. Take that one. Um... Take this one. They're all going to be annoying to deal with. This one's going to be annoying. This one. I would have chosen differently. Yeah. Um, this one's going to move forward. We have here. that. I cannot place that one just yet. But, what I can do is this. You will not perish quite yet. Jesus. One of these will entice you. Strange larva. That filthy feral hog. It becomes incensed when it chimes when its chimes are struck. It's 
Wherein this sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. No. Trapper and traitor, now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. We will need another map. Um... This one's a good one. Your eyes fix themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your trip. Trivial, tri trivials, whatever. Wow. Whatever you want to call it. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Trial of the Wing. Draw three cards. It must include a card with the airborne sigil. Include a rare sigil. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I don't have enough aerial cards, and I don't think I have enough rare cards. I don't have any of these. This won't be an this won't even be a challenge. Yeah. Oh my god, that's what you look like this whole time. Well, that's fair.
also here. true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you, and their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. Fuck. just some bullshit. You see that? We made it so far. Yep. I love RNG. I love RNG. I love RNG. I love RNG, dude. I love RNG. I love RNG. I love RNG. I love RNG. I love RNG, man. So close that last one. I doubt you will make it as far. Yeah, from the angler, you see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It'd be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful, it may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Your deck. Arg. Arg. <sighs> I guess I went clown. Cool. 
I might be inventory try something else. Pelts are cheaper now. After cleaning after cleaning him out. He was like I'm cheaper now because of that. So I guess uh, if I f fight the, I don't know. God, that one I had previously was so good. One where I get like to pl have like a free item to use every single time is just so fucking good. That one's fine, I guess. Yay, wow. So cool, so cool. Warren. Spawns a rabbit when it play when it is played. Rabbit is defined as a zero power one health card. Might as well just use the skunk then. To the left, to the left. So now we gotta, yeah, we gotta kill that thing. Um, let's see. Damn. We're free. I don't think this will work. Rote does not want to concede when it's obvious that he needs to. Um, but bone, Reginald. Okay. Definitely want to go to this guy. Let's see if you give me the good one. You do not. Okay. All right, prospector.
I have an idea on what this this angler does. I think it does what the what the enemy does essentially is the same exact thing. Fuck. Oh, it just straight up died faster. There's gold in them cards. I've struck gold. Get him. be pleased. Alright. Give me my card now. Gecko. Onwards. A moment. Rat King. The ringworm. Uh, squirrel. For now. Let's go over here. Bitch cock or Kaminsky. I guess Kaminsky. It's now six.
There we go. Alright, uh, I don't remember what you do. Yes, Grizzly. Must be sacrificed. Guess the grizzly bear. To the trapper we go. Maybe. Oh, we could actually play this card. You don't seem to do much though, but whatever. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oof. Cheaper prices. Thanks for the uh, stuff. Angler. Alright, I'm ready. Go Angler. Just exists to do one damage to an enemy. Even if that enemy is literally somebody that flies. Okay. So you are a no no. Got it. That was about, but yeah.
Так. Can I have an eyeball back? Can I have my eyeball back, please? This one. Thank you. Got my eyeball back. seem to have like more bone or like one heart I need more cards It's a bird. Um. That was a close one. I was getting spooked there. Okay, 
pair of pelts. Um, Sparrow. Alpha. Wolf pelt. Raven. A raven with protection. No, grizzly. Done to that pelt. It's monstrous, yes. Yet, yeah, I must have it. What do you think of these? Oh my. The Mantis God one? This one that has 6 health. This one that has 12 health. I like this one that has 12 health. And this one. Make good use of these. Yeah. Definitely that. This. And this. And if we can get enough extra gold. Damn it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Choice is final. God damn it, man. I need a rat king. Alright, please give me the, the a good one, please, I beg you. What the fuck are you? This will be beneficial or not.
Why did I do that? That's so fucking stupid of me. I- I'm dead. I'm such a fucking idiot. God, why are you such a fucking dumbass? Okay, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I really like that... The final level. Like, the final boss. Like, gave me overwhelmingly unfair odds. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yep, and that's why I never played this game again. That's why I never played it again, because it's shit. No, it's not. It's not terrible. It's a roguelike. So, you're supposed to lose constantly. Uh... It just bothers me the amount of... Like... I think one of my least favorite things about it is when bosses constantly do their intro every single time and I cannot skip through it. I have to just sit there and mash the button and the game goes at its own pace. That's fucking annoying when I have to get through it. Um, and every time you die you have to pick cards you can't just press the random button and move on with your life. You don't... I don't care. And, uh... Hmm. I think you only having one chance during a boss fight... Like... Okay, so... You get two lives normally okay and normally that would just end the thing and then you move on to the next fight okay so we're just going to remove the two lives why and then you get one opportunity to get hit and die so once that scale reaches zero it's over why why do why do the bosses get like two health? They get two phases and then the final boss gets three phases, but you have one. And then you have to start from the beginning again. And not only that, my final fight with the boss, uh I had I was given uh Bad RNG. There was nothing I could do. There's no strategy I could have probably done to make it better or for me to win. I don't know where I would have blundered if there was a blunder to be made. And that's my problem with it. For me, it's like... As a roguelike game, right? I think for me, as a roguelike game, it needs to give you wiggle room. It needs to 
allow you to be able to handle a situation even though it is RNG you could still win it would take longer and it takes a lot of effort because you were unlucky but if you're skillful enough then you can do it right uh so I will not be fucking I will not be playing this again. There's somehow 40 achievements in this game by the way. Isn't there is there like an entire sub game hidden away in here that I'm not aware of? Something called Casey's mod. So, yeah, I will not be playing that again. But that's just because the game has shown shown me what it has to offer. And... <sighs> and it's okay. It's just, I don't know. Normally, when it when it comes to roguelike games, um, I generally I'm okay with the whole die and start from the beginning thing. But this game isn't like. This game isn't like, um, what do you call it? Slay the Spire. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like a roguelike to me for some reason. It feels too narrative focused. And because it's so narrative focused towards as you're playing it, just feels like you're watching a movie. Let's say you're watching, I don't know, the Truman Show or something. And you watch the first part, like the first chapter of the Truman Show. And then you stop the footage because you need to go use the bathroom real quick. And when you come back, it says, oh, you have to rewatch the, you have to rewatch that chapter again. Because you pause the film. So now I have to rewatch the chapter again. But you can never stop the film until it ends. And every single time you needed to stop the film, whatever may have come up or something like that, you have to start from the beginning again. And now you're rewatching the exact same story over and over again. And that's what my problem is with inscription. Is that it's trying to tell a story, but you're literally being stopped every single time. Not only that, you're fighting the same bosses every single time in order. There are no different bosses to fight. You're fighting the same ones. Unless there's a different game mode or something that you got to play. It's a, it's like a rogue. I don't, I don't know. It's maybe kind of like a roguelite. Not a roguelike. It does say a deck building roguelike. In the description of the game. So it's trying to be a roguelike. But the only elements of it being a roguelike is that when you die, you have to start from the beginning again. It has more more stuff in line with roguelites, which I'm not entirely a big fan of to begin with, than a roguelike. And don't get me wrong, 
there are games that I do like that I would consider a rogue light. I mean, you could technically consider um, vampire survivors like games as being a rogue like or a rogue light genre, considering there's the upgrade system in those vampire survivor games that you have to consider. So like, oh, well, it's okay that I died. I got some money during my time. Here, I'm going to turn this on. I got some money during my time. I can use that money to buy an upgrade that will help me with being stronger for the next run. And eventually, as you're playing through Vampire Survivors and you're dying, or maybe if you get a chance of winning a game, you are continually unlocking stuff that will make it easier for you to win at the end of the game. Right? So I would say Vampire Survivors is definitely more of a roguelite than a roguelike, but it could it's like a weird fine line between the two. Um, but it isn't narrative focused, and for me, a lot of the time, I feel like a, a roguelike they're, the narrative that's being told is rather implied and shown than told. And it tells you things at the end of, of the, the boss fight. Like, you, you finish the, the final, like, the boss fight for an ending or something like that. And you got your lore to look into. I much prefer that than... Kind of like what Isaac does then to have to start from the beginning I have to go through that that effort after I die because I only get one chance during a boss fight that has multiple phases um and it's also RNG based so I have to also get lucky and hope that I get good shit to help me with actually getting further and don't blunder it. So, yeah. I feel like, um, it's just, it just frustrates me because I, it's, it's more narrative focused than it should be. And the boss fights, I'm gonna have to keep fighting the same boss fights that are in order and it's not random at least give me a little bit of variety if you're gonna make me replay the same sections over and over again just saying um but yeah i don't know if there's like new things that i i mean i'm sure there's things that i've missed or whatever but it's just inscriptions not for me per se like I'd much rather play Slay the Spire even though I've never beaten the final boss of Slay the Spire I've gotten somewhat close which was on stream it, I, I kind of suck at that too um so yeah I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah. I don't know. But. Like, let's say another game that I've played before. And I got through chapter. I got to chapter two, which is the final. Basically, the final chapter that I never finished of Darkwood on stream. Those streams are just gone now, apparently, so I guess I, I'm gonna have to redo those. Um, yeah, so... Darkwood. That's technically a roguelike, but it, it's it's not. It's a, I would say it's a roguelite. The game was originally made to be a roguelike from what I've heard. 
and yeah like the the map is somewhat randomly generated in terms of placement for for things and whatnot that game is very narrative focused and for me um made me frustrated in the later part of chapter one that it just pissed me off so i just i didn't want to deal with it again anymore after finishing the first chapter considering how long i think it literally takes like 20 hours or like almost 20 hours to finish one chapter uh, it, it's not almost 20 hours it's actually 16 hours it took me at least so yeah i would say if you were going at a at a slower pace it would probably take you 20 hours or more to finish one chapter and then apparently it just gets more difficult. So if I were to ever play Darkwood again, um, I don't remember. I don't remember ever dying while playing Darkwood. I don't think I ever died. I think maybe I died once. No, yeah, I did die. Like I think like one or two times so i could play on a hard on hard difficulty if i were to play it because it gives me only a few lives to beat the game or it could be a psycho and just play it on the, the hardest difficulty although i probably shouldn't considering i never finished chapter two so i feel like darkwood i know what i'm getting myself into and from what i played i really I did somewhat enjoy it. Um, there were and there were parts of it that I enjoyed, which is why I ended up playing it for like nine hours each. Each one that I did. But that must be that should be saying something. I just definitely found the later part frustrating whenever I I walked into explosive, toxic dead bodies and stuff. Um, so I might pick it up again and play through it on stream and actually get it. <sighs> get it uploaded. Yeah, so. Um, anyways. I don't know when the next one is going to be. Um, we'll see. Um, just keep a lookout on the, the schedule discord and just keep yourself updated, I guess, on there. Whenever I'm streaming, I'll usually just pop in and say, hey, I'm streaming on there. Uh, so, yep. All right. Have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I'll see you in the next one.